Hello, and welcome to today's tutorial on Area Protect. This plugin is featured in Server Maker for MCPE. Let's get started. So we're going to go over the basic commands on how to protect an area uh, and the different commands that go along with protecting those areas. So to start off really quick, if you don't know what you're doing and you kind of want to get an idea of where you're at, you know, let's clear that up for you guys so you can see it better. Um, we'll do forward slash area. Okay. Ooh. Too many buttons there. Sorry. We do forward slash area. And that's going to bring up the basic commands of what you're able to do. So we've got position one, position two, create, list, flag, whitelist, and delete. So those are going to be the basics of what you do. Now, a few of those have a couple sub commands that you can go through as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to demonstrate today where the starting and the well the first position and the second position uh, point should be placed at. So say you've got this is your, your house. Okay, imagine there's a house on this. This is the whole thing. So what you're going to want to do to protect your house is this is your floor of your house. Okay, so you don't want to just protect the walls. You want to protect the floor as well. So don't forget to do this. This is kind of, you know, just, just one of those reminder steps. So we're going to start with the green one as the start point. Okay, so your floor is your start. So you're going to want to stand in this exact spot. So where this green block is, that's where you are going to represent. That's where you need to stand, okay? So this is you. All right, that's the first point of where you're going to want to stand. So when you do this, you're going to come in here into your chat bar. You're going to do forward slash area POS1. All right, by doing this, this is going to trigger your first place. Oh, sorry, you don't have to stand in it. No, I kind of messed that up there. Let's do that again. And we'll turn this on so you guys can actually see what it's going to say. So let's do area POS1. Okay, now it says place a block or break a block to select the first position. So now that we've done that, that's going to be our first spot that we want. Remember, I was telling you we want the floor as well. So now you do that. Now position 1 is saved to those coordinates right there. Just put those in. Now to get to the second one, if you do just the floor again, you're only going to protect that one layer on the bottom. So say you got like five five blocks high. You're going to want to go five or six blocks high to protect it as well. So let's go one, two, three. So actually that's three, four, five. And we'll go six is our height for protection, okay? So imagine those are not there. All these are gone. We did our math. We got six. That's six high, and that's the, the bottom floor. So when you get up here, you're going to do forward slash area POS2. And now it's going to give you that command to place or break again. We already know where we want our height, so that's where we're going to place that. So now that we have our two points selected, which the floor and above the roof, okay. Oh, we're placing a bunch of blocks for no reason now. Sorry about that. Once we have those in place, what we're going to do is... I don't know why I keep placing these blocks everywhere. Sorry about that. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our chat bar. We are then going to do area create. And then we're going to give it a name. So let's call this one ice because it's on the ice rink. So area create and then the name of where your place is. Now this is key, how you spell it and you know the way it's spelled all that. Remember how you do this. So then go ahead and hit enter on that. So now we've created this area. So now if you can imagine a box completely surrounding you know all the way to the top all the way to the bottom there's a giant box of protection that goes around this entire thing now so once that's safe now anybody can walk on it but now nobody can build on it nobody can do anything unless you're obviously a you know owner of the server or an admin uh, or op those are the only ways you'll be able to build on this property if you are just a regular player a builder um, a guest a vip any of that you will not be able to place any blocks or do anything on this property whatsoever so now let's get a little further into this. So you want to see maybe the list of that or the, the list of the properties or the areas that you already have created. So you're going to go to slash forward slash area list and then that's going to pull up a list. Our last one we just did right there was ice. So that's the one we're going to want to kind of target on right now. So now that we've done the list and we figured that out, let's actually key this uh, area for, for something to do. Um, so say you don't want people to fight or attack each other in any way or form. What we can do is really easy. We can go into here, do forward slash area. Then you can do flag. 
and then we're going to do the name of the place. So that was ice. And then once you have this, you're going to go ahead and you're going to put God at the end of this. Now, this is actually going to stop everybody from fighting. You can slap and hit with swords all you want, but nobody will actually take any kind of damage, and they won't actually be hit in any way or form. It's just like you're hitting air almost. So once we do that, we'll put that into effect. Now, nobody on this square in any way or form can hit. If you go past that block, you can hit somebody. But if you stay within this block and that green block, you cannot hit anybody in this area whatsoever. Now, there's a few more things that go along with that. Uh, so say you want to keep people from touching anything or breaking anything, uh, but you want them still to have access to using, uh, you know, just to come on the property, but you don't want them to be able to use the doors or any of the, the boxes or crafting tables or anything like that. You're going to go in there and you're going to do the same thing with the flag again. You're going to do area, flag, and then we'll do ice. And then this one you're going to go here and you're going to do touch. Okay, so that'll actually stop people from touching anything on that property or anything in that, that area of, of yours. So if you got a door, that door will stay remain closed. Um, there's another one where now you will allow them to actually break and place on that, which is edit. Okay, so if you do edit, then you're pretty, you're pretty much letting people access to do things on that, that spot again. All right, so now that we've got that all completed, pretty much now you're going to say you want to add people. Oh, hello. Uh, say you're going to want to add people to this property, okay? So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remember that you named it Ice, obviously. So that's going to be the key point. So here, for example, we got Chris. What's his name? Chris362. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We'll do area, whitelist, okay, Ice, add. You're going to be able to do add, remove, or list. The list will tell you who's on the, on the actual whitelist itself. Um, if you do this, that'll give you a list of the, all the players that are on it. Uh, if you want to remove people from that list, you just do this, add the remove in there, and then the player's name, and it'll actually take them away. But we're going to add Chris. So, what was it? Chris? Three something, three, six, two. Okay. So let's put him in there. Okay. So we're going to add Chris to this now. So now Chris is here. Let's see. Um... Chris, place a block. Does he have a block to place? I wonder. There. There you go. Place a block. Place a block. Will we place one? I don't think he's going to do it. I don't think so. No, he's not going to demonstrate for us. I wish he would have, but he's not. Okay, so really quick though, so now we've added him to that list. So now he's part of it, and, and you know, and he, he could build here if he wanted to. See, there you go. Now, if Ultimate Dragon over here tried doing it, he wouldn't be able to place anything on this block because he's not allowed to. All right, so sorry for that little delay and in stall there, but let's get back into this now. Now, say you uh, you just want to get rid of the property altogether, you're done with it, and you want to move on and clear space. So how we're going to do this, and it's actually going to wipe everything and everybody from it, you're going to go area, delete, ice, okay? And then that is going to take all the protections that were put on here, anybody that had permissions, anything that they were given, it's all gone. So now nobody can do anything ever again on here. It's completely blank and open. So that pretty much covers it for this. I mean, you can get into a little more depth with these commands. Like I said, it's it's all about how you put them together and set them up. I've gone and actually made a full plots system with it. So it's protected plots for only certain people. They can add friends to the plot if they want to help build or, you know, just have roommates or whatnot. Or they can live alone. They just got to ask and we can add them to the to the whitelist and it's not, not really too big of a deal. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely give a thumbs up and uh, leave some comments down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Stay chill. Later.